A Greek court's decision to grant asylum to a Turkish soldier is testing ties between the nations. The Turkish government has accused that man and seven others who fled Turkey with him of being terrorists who were involved in a failed coup in 2016. The men have denied any involvement and have repeatedly told Greek authorities they won't receive a fair trial if they're sent back. The Greek government had asked the court to reject the asylum bid, but the court granted it. Turkey's Minister for EU Affairs, Ömer Çelik, says the decision is the most embarrassing ruling possible for any country. The legal system in Greece ruled to protect the terrorists who attempted a coup to overthrow Turkish democracy. This notion has aligned against Turkey along with the enemies of Turkey. The Turkish Foreign Ministry says the court made its decision in defiance of the rules of international law and it hopes the Greek judiciary will refrain from repeating the same mistakes by taking similar biased decisions in the future. The Greek government has not commented on the ruling. The fate of the men has been top of the diplomatic agenda for Turkey. He is the Turkish Prime Minister in April. We think that Greece should consider our enemy as their enemy and act accordingly. Therefore, it's unacceptable that members of FETO, who had actively participated in the coup in our country, are protected and welcomed. The acronym FETO stands for the Fethullah Terrorist Organization, the name Turkey gives to followers of businessman and cleric Fethullah Gulen. While Turkey has asked for its soldiers back to stand trial, Greece has also demanded the release of two of its own who crossed into Turkish territory earlier this year. They've been accused of espionage, but have not been formally charged. Greece's Prime Minister, Alexis Tsipras, says there will be no exchange of the Turks for the Greek pair. We call on our neighbour to leave behind this dead-end rhetorical escalation because it doesn't lead anywhere. When someone has problems in his own household, the worst thing is to pick on his neighbour. In December, when Recep Tayyip Erdogan became the first Turkish president to visit Athens in 65 years, there were hopes that relations would improve. But this latest court ruling appears to have driven these neighbours further apart. Natalie Pohonen, The Newsmakers.